Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by our friends at the Silo Kia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a summer program picking up the charge to feed children with food insecurity while school is out. FPL customers should see a small kickback after an over-recovery of storm restoration costs from Hurricane Matthew and more. Today is Wednesday, June 6th, and this is a lunch break. For families and youth dealing with food insecurity, the summer months can be the hardest time of the year. With school out, meals served at school that needy children rely on for nutrition may also take a break. But that's why organizers have put together the Summer Feeding Program, which provides breakfast and lunches for needy students during the summer months. Monday marked the start of the program with almost five dozen sites between Lee and Collier counties. Lee schools held a kickoff event at Cape Coral High School where over 300 lunches were made and brought to feed both the summer programs at the park and and nearby Krista McAuliffe Charter Elementary School. Food insecurity is a major problem, especially among children. One in six kids face hunger daily, according to a national study done by nonprofit Share Our Strength, the operators of No Kid Hungry. That leads a national average of about 13 million homes that deal with food insecurity or the inability to have access to relatively healthy and regular timing on meals. For more information on the summer lunch program or its locations, check out the full article by Jordan Hester online. FPL customers will see a pair of slight reductions in their monthly bills this summer due to the federal tax overhaul signed last year. However, regulators put off a decision until August about a one-time refund that customers would receive in part because of an over-recovery of storm restoration costs after Hurricane Matthew in 2016. Utilities are typically allowed to recoup costs of restoring power and rebuilding systems after hurricanes and to replenish storm reserves, but they also have to return to the Public Service Commission to justify the amounts recovered from the customers. The Florida the Public Service Commission on Tuesday gave intervening groups until June 28th to file briefs on the $27.7 million refund proposal. Early Tuesday, the Commission approved customer bill reductions tied to FPL's benefits from the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, the federal tax overhaul signed in December by President Trump. Under the plans approved by the Public Service Commission, FPL residential customers who use 1,000 kilowatt hours of electricity a month will see their bills go down 59 cents in July because of the company's tax savings. An FPL FPL customer with a 1,000 kilowatt hour bill currently pays just shy of $100 a month. The commission is expecting to have a recommendation by the Agenda Conference on August 7th. In the latest clash over medical marijuana, lawyers representing two ailing Florida women asked the Tallahassee judge on Monday to lift a hold on her ruling that a state law banning patients from smoking pot is unconstitutional. But attorneys for the state argue that there's no need to rush while her decision is under appeal. Leon County Circuit Judge Karen Gievers heard arguments in the plaintiff's request to lift a stay in the lawsuit, which was initiated by Orlando trial attorney John Morgan after the legislature included the smoking ban in a law carrying out a voter-approved constitutional amendment that broadly legalized medical marijuana. Givers last month agreed with Morgan and the plaintiffs who argued that the text of the constitutional amendment allows patients to use any form of marijuana as their treatment. Lawyers for the Department of Health have maintained that the amendment does not expressly permit smoking and that the state has the authority to approve regulations to implement the law and to protect the public from the negative side effects of smoking. The state immediately appealed Givers' May 25th decision, striking down the smoking prohibition. The appeal put her ruling on hold, but the plaintiffs then went back to Givers and asked her to lift the stay. And that was a lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. For your twice daily news fix, head over to the Naples Herald YouTube channel and subscribe. Leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts on the news or what you'd like to hear about. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.